When I was working in Bahrain, my boss, Peter Conway, introduced me to something called Kulfi, K-U-L-F-I. It's a wonderfully sweet, rich, creamy sort of ice cream. And I found it in Floyd's India, my recipe book from Phil and Diane Gregory, which I received in Christmas 2016. And it's dead easy to make, so I'm going to show you how to make now. Take a heavy base pan like this one I bought from Bahrain. Good move, that one, Neil. Take one liter of full cream milk and boil it. But also add 180 grams of white sugar. So you get the idea. It's creamy and it's sweet. Here's the sugar. Then give it a stir and bring it to the boil. And you should uh, let it boil until it's reduced by two thirds in volume and it's thick and creamy. So it's going to be about two thirds of a litre of this cold dessert. A creamy sort of ice cream. We'll just leave it there. I love the simplicity of this dish. Uh, heat up the milk and the sugar, add the saffron, and then turn off the heat and let it cool. Um, as well as turning off the heat, I think I mentioned this before in another video, I've moved the pan out of the way um, because the heat is still coming up even though it's uh, turned off. And we're gonna leave that for, let's say, an hour uh, to cool down. And then we're gonna uh, pour it into these little uh, glasses over here which I have ready and then we're gonna put it into the freezer if you haven't got little glasses like this uh, the last time I did it I used plastic cups and it was just as good okay so it's a couple of hours later I had to go out and do some uh, chores and Chester ran off and got all dirty so I had to give him a shower so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour this cooled liquid, this is the milk and the sugar, reduced by two thirds, into a measuring jug. The reason I'm doing that is it's easier to pour from the measuring jug than this big saucepan. Put the big saucepan over here. And over here so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got four little glass containers. If I remember rightly, I bought these in Bahrain at uh, Tony the Dog Father's charity sale. Rest in peace, Tony. You did a wonderful job. Tony looked after 120 dogs and 120 cats in a rescue centre, plus assorted other animals like a donkey and a goose, and I was part of the fundraising team there. So while I was in Sabang, I bought some new fridge magnets and I put them here on my freezer. Lovely, pretty little fishes and uh, pawican, the turtle. And this is the symbol of Puerto Princesa, the blue peacock. It's very uh, rare, this particular type of uh, peacock. And you'll see it on all the uh, signs and all the gateways to Palawan State University, for example. So what have we got inside the freezer today? Well, we have a lot of chicken stock because we've been making a lot of chicken dishes. Our chicken cafrael, for example. Uh, we made a chicken curry last week. So every time we make a chicken dish, the bones we put with some water and some peppercorns and some onion, and we make chicken stock. And then when we need chicken stock, we have fresh stock in the freezer. And what do we have above that? Let me show you. I just remembered my tripod has a uh, lifting device, so I can actually wind the camera up to a higher height. Isn't that marvelous? Thank you, Colleen. I'm so glad you helped me choose all these. And Chester de los Santos, the human, not the dog, because the dog wasn't around then. So there we go. On the top shelf of my freezer, I have my five and a half uh, glasses of coffee. And I was only expecting four, so that's uh, a bonus. And unfortunately, the fridge freezer is making a bleeping noise to tell me that I've left the door open too long and everything is going to defrost. So I'm going to shut the door on the freezer. 
and can see some of Luzon. This is when I went to see my dear friend Queer Vin in um, Vegan, and uh, we had a day trip to the windmills uh, in Bangui. Uh, we went to the lighthouse at uh, Cape Bujidon. We went to the beach at uh, Paget Pud, uh, which was a suggestion from Ati Hazel. Uh, and also Vin and I went to uh, Villa Escadero as well. And uh, you can see the Filipino jeepney, uh, Port Barton, and then our fish from Puerto Princesa. I forgot to lock it just now, and the camera just went zoop, <laughs> like this. Okay, I thought you'd like to have a look at me. Don't know why, but um, you haven't seen me on camera for a little while. So this is Neil Porter, alias the British Kabayan, alias TBK Cook. So I hope you've enjoyed this series of recipes, which have come from Floyd. Uh, Floyd's Keith Floyd's recipe book called Floyd's India where he did a Channel 5 series in the UK traveling all around India and I've certainly enjoyed making these uh, dishes I'd uh, put the recipe book like many others on my shelf hadn't used it for a little while and then Mr G wrote to Mr P and said oi get my recipe book out and cook from that so thanks very much Phil really appreciate your reminder I've had a wonderful time cooking chicken cafrayo uh, mutton stew uh, the coffee uh, we made the uh, chili um, and mango uh, pickle and uh, we also, no, ch uh, chili and mango chutney, tzatziki and also uh, chicken curry, merg masala. What a lovely selection of dishes. There was one dish that went slightly wrong. I'm not going to tell you what it is. This is a test for those of you who've been watching my videos diligently. There's a big prize. It's a meal for two people in an Indian restaurant of your choice at my expense. Um, in the country where you live, you don't have to come here to Palawan to have it. And this is the question. Which of the dishes that I cooked from Floyd's India went horribly wrong and why? Send your answer to thebritishkabayan at gmail.com by email. And on the 25th of December, Christmas Day, can you tell I'm making this up as I go along? I'll go through all the answers and I will choose the winner and I will be sending you the prize in the new year. So let me just repeat the question. Of all the dishes that I cooked from Floyd's India, which one went horribly wrong and why? Get writing. Coming up next, the tasting of the coffee. What's that, Mr. G? Oh, okay. Oh, and Chester says the same as well. Okay, thanks for that. Sorry, we just had a message come in on the uh, earpiece there from um, Mr. Gregory in the UK, and he's asked me to encourage more interaction with our viewers. Uh, and this is something that uh, Chester, uh, the human in Marikina, was asking for just before he got hit by the typhoon. I hope you're okay, Chester, by the way. Um, so we want to have more interaction with you we keep producing these videos but are they what you want um, are you seeing the dishes cooked that you would like to learn how to cook um, so what we're going to do from the first of january we're going to be launching a new online recipe book we've done a couple before 2014 2017 to be precise january and thereafter every 15th of each month because the first of each month we're going to have our new calendar chester's calendar so on the 15th is my chance tbk to have my recipe book and what we want each month is six recipes a mixture of starters main courses and desserts two of each and from three different countries each month so we're going to start off with the Philippines, obviously, because I'm now in the Philippines. Uh, we're going to have some Cambodian and we're going to have some Indian food. We'll probably choose a couple of the Floyd from India dishes. And um, we want you to choose those dishes. So can you tell us a starter, a main course and a dessert that you would like to see featured over the coming year? And we'll put it into the appropriate segment. Then at the end of the year, this is the really clever bit, and that's why Chester, the human, is involved. He is going to sew it all together. So we'll have 12 uh, individual online books with six recipes in each, and then we're going to put them together. Six 12s are 72. You're going to have 72 recipes from around the world. It'll be three uh, countries each month times 12. is 36 countries worth of food. Me cooking the whole lot. Well, not actually just me. Sorry. Hang on a sec. Another message just coming through here from Marikina head office. Yes, go ahead, please. We've got some guest chefs confirmed. Who have we got, Chester? Oh, wow. First of all, we have got here from Palawan, my dear friend, 
Gracie Melchor of Pooch's Kitchen, the one who taught me Filipino food. Who better to have a recipe from than Gracie? Thank you, Gracie. Who else? No! How did you manage that? Wow! We've got Chef Arnel. He is the owner uh, and uh, manager and chef and washer up and everything else at Senedama. They run the restaurant at the Microtel, going there, in fact, on that. And then we're going to do some swim and dine later on next month by the pool. Uh, and they also do a lot of functions for VIPs and uh, buffets. And, you know, basically, if you're anyone in Palawan and you want a good meal, then Chef Arnel is the man. And he's going to do a banana dessert recipe just for us. Hang on a sec. There's another one. Three guest chefs. Three Filipino chefs in my recipe book in one month. Wow. No! Oh, wonderful. It's our very own Mama Jam Fernandez. He runs Hope, which is a charity that I support, excuse me if I get emotional, uh, in El Nido. I've worked with Mama Jam for many years now. Uh, I sponsor one of the children through Hope, Amia, who's just turned 13 and has gone to high school. Hi, Amia, well done. She has superb results all the time. Excellent. And uh, I've been supporting her since 2017. And uh, Mama Jam is a chef, pastry chef, very good pastry chef. And he sent me his contribution to a recipe book that they produced in Austria. Uh, and it was all uh, Filipinos working overseas, OFWs we call them, overseas Filipino workers. And they all contributed different recipes. And Mama Jam contributed two uh, beautiful cakes, which I have yet to cook. So I said to him, Mama Jam, would you be able to write a recipe for my book as well and he has promised that he will so thanks Mama Jam we look forward to that so that's three guest chefs Mama Jam uh, Chef Arnel and Gracie in our first uh, edition if you want to be a guest chef for a future edition please let me know and um, I'm dedicating this wire to Miss Andrea and to Jake they'll know why okay look forward to hearing from you the uh, email address is the British Kabayan at gmail.com. T H E B R I T I S H, because I'm British. Kabayan, K A B A Y A N, countryman in Tagalog, because I'm now Filipino. And uh, the British Kabayan at gmail.com. 62 years old, it's all going. Dementia is here. See you soon. Here the kids in Gapalai. Now I try the coffee. So sweet, like me. So now I try coffee. Nagawa ni tatay, so try natin. Masarap siya sobra, so especially sa nilagay ni tatay na ingredients na cream with sugar. Thank you. Ha <laughs>